Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? Man, I, like, I really wasn't going to come on here because I've been trying to just do them one on Monday, one on Wednesday in the middle of the week, and one on Friday to end out the week. But, man, I just had an amazing, amazing, amazing experience at the breakfast table with one of my coworkers, man. And I just had to come on here and share it with y'all because I know that this would motivate somebody because it, um, it it had me in tears. So, man, my, mor my morning motivation to you this morning is, man, love on somebody, hug somebody, man. Tell them you love them, man. Tell them about Jesus because, man, we, we have so many people that are out here hurting that you just never know what a person is going through. So, just now... I was eating breakfast with one of my coworkers. He's an older Hispanic guy, really cool dude, man. And, and I love him to life, man. He's a really nice guy. And uh, he looked at me and he say, uh, I won't be here tomorrow. And I mean, this dude works every day. I say, why? What you mean? He say, uh, I got to go uh, to the doctor. He say, I went for my last checkup and they said that they saw something. And, and I don't know, it may be cancer. And I was like, you know, just kind of encouraging them, you know, man, don't don't think like that. Don't think negative, yada, yada, yada. So we talking and then I heard the spirit say, hey, I want you to pray for him. So before I went to pray for him, I started asking him, hey, do you believe in Jesus? He said, yeah. He said, yeah, all the time, man. I say, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? He said, yeah. I say, OK, well, do you believe that Jesus can heal you? And he just kind of had this puzzled look like, I, I, I said, well, see, here, here's the thing, Joel. I can pray for you, right? But if you don't truly believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and you don't believe that Jesus took the whipping on his back for you to be healed, then me praying for you is not going to really do nothing. You have to have faith in this prayer that I'm about to pray for you and Jesus can heal you. I say, because it doesn't matter what the doctors say. It doesn't matter what shows up on the computer screen, because you got to remember that they are only practicing medicine. Anyway, Jesus is the pro. He's the real physician and it's his report that you should believe. And he kind of was like, yeah, yeah. I say, so do you believe that Jesus can heal you? And he shook his head, yeah. And uh, so I went in and I just started praying a prayer of faith and a prayer of healing and, and everything like that, man. And uh, we said amen. And he looked at me, man. And the, this is an older gentleman, man. And he had tears in his eyes, and I could tell. And when I was getting ready to leave, I hugged him. I told him, man, I love you, Joel. And I walked off, and the Spirit said, he's never had nobody do that to him. That truly, truly touched him. As a grown man, I don't believe he's had anybody at his job site literally grab him by the, you know, put his hand on his shoulder kind of in a hugging way and just start praying for him and tell him that he loved him and hugged on him, man. And you never know what somebody may be going through, man. You never, ever, ever know, man. And even though we're going through things of our own, man, we should still be nice to people. We should still be kind to people. We should still give people encouraging words and just tell them how much you love them and stuff like that, man. And just lift them up and just be there for them because you just never know what somebody may be going through. Just like whoever's on the other end of this video, I don't know what you're going through today, but I know God knows what you're going through jesus knows what you're going through and he want to love you straight through it he want to touch you he want to wrap his arms around you and he wants to be everything that you need him to be he just needs you to open up that door so he can come in and be everything that you need him to be this morning man so just keep on trusting jesus and know that he loves you he'll never leave you he'll never forsake you and he loves you and there's nothing you can do about it so that's just my morning motivation this morning man go be somebody's Go be a blessing to somebody, man. I love y'all. Be blessed and enjoy your Thursday.